the stakes, execute, maybe a championship away. Spartans got some comeback left in them, so the Bears got to step on the floor strong if they want to beat back these Spartans and walk out of the gym with the win. You think the old heads from the 70s are sitting on their hands right now? <laughs> a long time. Bears haven't won a conference crown since 1977. That was seven. was old to hit top all it be and more than six. Rogers Barnes to inbounds. Off the timeout, it's going to get back to the business of basketball. Morgan State basketball. Spartans, Bears. A championship to the side in the final 337. Come on, boy, let's say. Barnes will inbound at about half court. Every possession critical now, as the Bears are nursing that 71-58 lead. Francis Barnes off the entry, looking for somebody. Finally for Marquis Kaitley. He'll leave it back court for Itchy Bolden. Bolden gets it across the timeline as we have 3.30 remaining in the ball game. Itchy operates on the wing left side. He'll go baseline left for Reggie Holmes. Up top, Itchy. Itchy between the circles. He'll go right wing for Rogers Barnes. Barnes up top, Bolden. Bolden between the circles. Left hand dribble is pumping for Itchy. He operates beyond the arc, feeds Reggie Holmes. Wide open triple, takes it, can't make it. Rebound, five four by Kevin Thompson. Oh, back up, it is. Oh, get the oh, bucket. Oh, the bucket. Yeah. The bucket and the bruise for KT. He'll go to the free throw line and look to complete the three point play. I asked who was going to take charge, and he's been there the whole game. Tough down low to freshman. 15 point night for Kevin Thompson. The Morgan lead 73 58 with 304 remaining in the party. Big time four. rebound by KT. Thompson, huge tonight. 11 rebounds, 15 points, a double double on championship night for the freshman. One shot. Thompson up. Two strike. He'll take. Mm -hmm. Can't make the free throw. Rebound, Marquise Kately. Kately goes back up and in. Yeah! Deuce. That's Marquise Kately. Climbs the offensive window. Drops the deuce. The Morgan leads 75-58. Other end, Corey Lines. Coast to coast. His layup no good. A whistle. And let's see. The clock didn't know a foul. It's going to work against Kately. Marquise picks up the personal. That will be four on Marquise Kately. We'll send Corey Lyons to the cup. I was going to say, Bears need to keep the composure. Coach just hit on it. You know, they're up. They have a double-digit lead. It's okay to be happy after the play, but Corey Lyons was able to come back down the court, coast to coast, and draw the foul. Takes and makes the first free throw to Corey Lyons. He has another one coming. Cuts the Morgan lead to 79. Set make that 75-59. 2.54 remaining in the ballgame. Lyons will have another time. So he will take it. He will not make it. Rebound Marquise Cable. Kately controls. He'll feed Rogers Barnes backcourt ahead to Reggie Holmes. Morgan will slow it down. Look to work a little clock. Front court bears control. Itchy Bolton, baseline. Cross courts get Rogers Barnes. Barnes, top of the circle. Face is a trap. We get a whistle. We get a reach. We get a foul. This is going to work against the Spartans. We're going to hit Corey Lyons, I believe, for the personal. For Corey, that will be his fifth. Corey Lyons' day is done. Bye bye, Corey Lyons. One of the primary scorers for the Spartans will have a seat for the balance of the ball game. He's replaced by Kevin Worsley in the lineup for Norfolk State. Rogers Barnes will be at the free throw line, shooting a pair with 2.38 remaining in the ball game. Morgan up 75-59 with 2.38 remaining in the ball game. Corey going to finish today with 14 points for the Spartans. Rogers Barnes takes but can't make the free throw. Raj rim but just didn't want to fall in. He'll have another. Team shooting about 65% for the game. Bears 21 of 32 from the free throw line. Rogers Barnes has another toss coming his way. Rogers takes it. Rogers makes it. Rogers Barnes, one of two from the strike. The Morgan lead, 76-59. Quickly back the other way to Spartans. Alik Pauline to the cup, lays it up, won't fall. Tip is good. Deuce drops, timeout. Anthony Evans says, let's chit-chat. Stop the clock with 2.32 remaining in the ball game. We're going to keep things right here. Morgan State, Norfolk State, and I think at this stage in the ball game, if you're Morgan, it's just about execution. You got a 15-point lead with 2.32 remaining in the game. If you execute, you should win the game. Once again, make sure you have 
very good free throw shooters in there, so they're going to start fouling. But you're, you're right. You just have to finish the job. You don't have to do anything fancy. Don't get no. out of your role. Just do, just do your job. And the Bears will gladly exchange two for two for the balance of the ball game. Those quick layups, you don't want to foul if you're Morgan. You don't want to stop the clock, so you're letting those layups go. But that's okay. You'll exchange two for two because you're up 15. And two for two is not going to get it done if you're Norfolk State. They're going to have to try to get some turnovers. Morgan will inbound facing full court pressure. Marquise Cately off the inbound spots. Itchy Bolden. Itchy backcourt. Cross court for Rogers Barnes. Barnes now has it in the front court. Operates top of the circle. Leaves it for Itchy up top. He faces a trap. Spins out of the trap. Keeps the dribble alive. Up top for Reggie Holmes. With 2.15 remaining in the ball game, Reggie Holmes controls. Pumps the dribble with the left hand. He'll switch right, loses the handle. It's stolen by Michael yeah. Deloach. Deloach goes coast to coast, yeah. lays it down with a two-hand flush. That's what you want if you're Norfolk State. You want turnovers. They got a turnover. They creep closer. They're down 13 with 2.08 remaining in the game. Hey, folks, you're listening to Public Radio, WEAA 88.9 FM in Baltimore. My name is Lamont Germany. Her name is Helen Williams. We got Austin Ward right courtside with us. We're coming down to cases here in the BI Championship game. Morgan State, Norfolk State, the Bear lead is 13 at 76-63. We talked about avoiding turnovers, and that's what the Bears hope to do here in the final 208. Hey, folks, become the latest member of WEAA's exclusive Club 88. Contact our membership department to find out more information. The number, 443-885-2075, or online at WEAA.org. Off the timeout. There's to inbound. Off the entry, Rogers Barnes controls. Back to Marquise Cately. Cately controls backcourt to Itchy. Itchy front court, Rogers Barnes. Barnes with two minutes left, has it up top. As the Bears look in the work <laughs> clock. Baseline for Reggie Holmes. Baseline jumper, sweet. Reggie Holmes drops the deuce. 17 point night for Reggie Reg. The Bear lead 15. Other end, Alik Pauline. His layup right hand is sweet. But again, if you're working, you let them have layups. But you do want to play some defense. You do want to play some D, you don't want to foul. And so if you're Morgan, time runs off the clock, and time is definitely on your side. Spartans go man-to-man. Uh, -man. Three ball, Reggie Holmes will fall. Rebound, tipped out of bounds. Last touch was a Morgan touch. It'll be Spartan possession with a minute. 29 remaining in the ball. Game. They didn't need him to shoot that. That's, that's what Coach Morgan was saying. Why? Why? We could have put it back out and worked some clock. Spartans will inbound. Down 78-53. Back the other way. Comes for front court. Michael Deloach controls on the wing left side. Spots up for three. No good. Rebound Reggie Holmes. A minute 20 remaining in the ball game. Come on. Bears will walk it up. Itchy Bolden looks to get it across the timeline. Controls front court. Bears look to work clock. Morgan turns it over. No, they retreat. Marquise Cayley has it back. Up to Rogers Barnes between the circles. Marquise, or actually that's Itchy Bolden with the rock. Minute left in the game, a minute away from a championship for the orange and the blue. The Bears are starting to taste it. Do you smell it? Smells like a championship to me. Yeah. Reggie Holmes has it baseline for the Bears. We get a whistle, we get a foul. This will work against the Spartans. Going to send Reggie Holmes to the free throw line. Reggie will be shooting two for the orange and the blue with 52 seconds remaining in the ball game. The Bears can smell the ball game. They're up. 78-65 with 52 seconds left in the show. Reggie Reds at the free throw line looking to extend the Morgan lead as Aludi Daugherty checks back into the game for Norfolk State. You don't want to allow any three-pointers, no fouls on the three-point shot. Again, if you're Morgan, it's about execution and playing smart. Norfolk State's going to be firing up threes. And if you're Morgan, you got to protect against fouls. Reggie Holmes takes and makes the free throw. 18.9 for Reggie. The Morgan lead is 79-65. 52 seconds left in the ball game. Second toss by Reggie. Takes it, makes it. Morgan up 15. 80 to 65. 50 seconds left in the game. Quickly back the other way. The Spartans. Alik Pauline leads in. He leaves it for the lows. Goes it up. Right hand won't fall. A whistle, a foul. Not what you want of your Morgan. Again, I'd let him have the layups at this point. Drop 15. You don't want contact. You don't want a foul. They're going to put Deloach at the line. He'll be shooting a pair with 43 seconds left in the game. Morgan up 